Sup y'all, bring you guys another video. So I just thought I'd let you guys know, and as you guys can tell by the title, Gabriel Flores Jr. versus Abraham Montoya. It's official. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So um yeah, the fight's official. Fight's scheduled for 10 rounds in the junior lightweight division to take place on the 4th of March, March 4, 2022, live over at the Save Mart Center in Fresno, California, USA, to be shown live on ESPN+. Plus, this fight between Gabriel Flores Jr. and Abraham Montoya will be taking place in the undercard of the Ramirez versus Pedraza fight. So a very good addition to the card and a very good event this coming March 4 that will be shown live on ESPN+. Plus. Looking forward to all these fights. So um, yeah, who do you guys, what do you guys think about this fight? Uh, Gabriel Flores um, is coming off a tough loss. First loss in his professional career against Luis Alberto Lopez. Um, lost pretty much every single round in that fight. And uh, yeah, it was a learning experience for the young Flores. Uh, at the age of 21 years old, um, you know, he'll continue to improve, but he needs to work on his definitely needs to work on his defense Lopez really really put a beating on him in that fight and honestly if I remember correctly the fight should have been stopped earlier than it did it shouldn't have gone the distance but you know a lot of pride and you know the warrior spirit of Flores didn't want the fight stopped and you know the fight ended up going the distance and honestly he just took uh, unnecessary unnecessary punishment towards those later rounds anyway for his first fight back uh, that was back in September of 2021, and this will be his first fight this year. His opponent, Montoya, uh, is a fighter from Mexico with a record of 20 wins, 2 losses, uh, 1 draw, 14 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Not an easy opponent to fight for you after coming off a loss, I'm going to be completely honest. This is a tough fight. I, I expected Gabriel Flores to uh, take you know, an easy, e very easy fight fighting some guy who has like 10 losses or something like that but here he is fighting a guy who has a record of 20 and 2 one draw coming off two wins coming off a very good win also back in uh, february of last year uh against alejandro guerrero where he won by majority decision against an undefeated fighter in guerrero uh the only times he lost uh was against yakubov over in russia and early on in his career in his second pro fight so so yeah, this is <laughs> it's, a, it's an interesting fight, man. Um, you know, props to Gabriel for not taking an easy fight for his first fight back after a loss. But man, um, it it's gonna be it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a tough one in my opinion. It won't be an easy comeback fight for Flores. And hopefully, you know, he's all rested up and healed up from the beating he took in that last fight. And uh, looking forward to uh, this coming event on the fourth uh, of March. Keep in mind that it's on a Friday, so keep that in mind. And it's going to be on ESPN Plus, meaning uh, not regular ESPN. Uh, you need to be subscribed to uh, ESPN Plus in order to see it. So, anyway, looking forward to it. I'll, I'll make my prediction video uh, as we get closer to the fight. Uh, let me know your thoughts and comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.